Hey guys, how are you? Um, uh, just wanted to hop on and show you guys um, the new scents in the laundry products and then go over my absolute favorite uh, six pack of the new catalog scents. Y'all have been so incredible to me this month. And since this is my VIP group and my um, kind of spoiler, I always like to spoil you guys and let you know it's coming. And um, yeah, go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the laundry products and show you guys. I don't know if you could really see in the photos that I posted yesterday of them. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what they are, what they look like, and I actually used both of them, so I can definitely tell you as far as the scent throw for your laundry, um, and everything like that. So, first things first is, um, what is that? Coral Waters. So, this was a new scent last year for the spring and summer collection. Everyone loved it. Um, a lot of consultants and customers were asking for it in the laundry as well as the other scent that I'm going to show you guys. So, the scent description for it is Lush Nectarine Blossom and Peony Bloom alongside Bright Clear Coral Waters. So, this is what it will look like. I love the new um, little logos and stuff that we have on all our products and then of course the whiff. So it'll be available in the entire laundry line. So you'll have the laundry liquid, um, the washer whiffs, um, the dryer discs for sure. Let's see, yeah. Uh, Scent Soft, Scentsy Fresh, both the big and small uh, whiffs. And yeah, so it's gonna be incredible. Um, I'm actually using it now in my whole kitchen and um, dining room and everything like that. It definitely smells like it. When I first smelt it, um, just because our laundry stuff is a little bit stronger, more concentrated, so because you got to wash your clothes with water, duh. Um, it, I wasn't really sure about it, but when I used it, it was beautiful. Just this fresh... Um, I'm not a clothesline fan, but it kind of reminded me of that, but I like it more. So definitely, definitely look for that. The next one in the laundry line is going to be Magnolia Linen, and I am so obsessed with this packaging. Look at the Bluebird and the Magnolia. I mean, it's so gorgeous. So this will be also available in the laundry line as far as Scent Soft, Dryer Disc, Scentsy Fresh. Um, everything like that. This scent came out last year as well, and everyone said this would be a gorgeous laundry scent, and that is exactly what Scentsy did this year. So, um, all of this stuff that I'm showing you guys will be available February 1st. Um, so, and anything that I show you guys, if you see it, if you like it, if you can afford it, that's fine. There is so many ways to get it for free, and I'm here to help you do that. So, um, this filled my whole whole entire house um, with the scent. It filled our patio when the clothes were drying in the dryer um, vent outside. Gorgeous scent. I don't find it's as strong as um, a real clean, clean scent in the um, laundry products as it is the wax. I find it does have like a little sweeter aspect to it. Um, so I'm really excited to get this in you guys' hands this spring and summer. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my perfect six pack. So every year, since he comes out, um, catalog season transition, everything like that, since he comes out with 10 brand new releases, as you can see, the colors are vibrant, we're ready for spring and summer, and I'm gonna show you guys which ones are my favorite. I can honestly say when I got all 10 that they were, I loved every single one of them. There really wasn't one that I didn't, didn't like, like as far as like, whoo, no, 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 no. Um, all of them were great. As you can see when I'm about to show you the wax and the um, six pack that I've chosen, I've already started to use some of them. I've already started to make samples with some of them to get that in you guys' hands. And yeah, I am so excited and here for it. So um, the first one is gonna be, this is definitely my number one. 
I love this scent. Um, it was hard to choose a number one because there's two that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And the first one is Summer Moonlight. So the scent description is fresh strawberry sparkle alongside sweet pea and shimmering sandalwood. There is something about the fruitiness with a little sweet pea that makes it fresh and then you got the woodsy sandalwood. This is actually in the fruity category. So um, I think this is a scent that everyone is going to love. I am very obsessed with it. It does remind me a lot of if you liked um, Lucky in Love, if you liked the Victoria's Secret love spell, um, there's just something so like girly and more of a floral perfume about it, but there's something sultry in it too. I love it, like love it. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's so, so cute. So this is just one of those feel good, warm all the time kind of scents. Like it has that, the fruity in it is more um, to give it that sweetness. The sandalwood makes it a little bit warm. Um, and then, of course, the sweet pea gives that fresh. Oh, this one is just so divine. Like, I want to wear it all over my body. So good. The next one I would say would be one of my number ones. And this is, like, it brought me straight back to, like, junior high. Um... I remember going to PacSun a lot in junior high, and we would always get a new backpack from there. Thought we were so cool. Um, and then I was starting to get into the, the age where I was like, I don't wanna wear body spray anymore. I want like a, a perfume. So PacSun actually had a perfume, and I don't know if you guys remember it or ever wore it, but it came in like this round, like kind of flat on each side, but it was round. And it was green around the edges and it was called Nolly, I think. I'm pretty sure. That is exactly what Daydream Oasis reminds me of. Like it is just that warm all the time kind of scent. There's no specific like spring, summer, fall, winter. Like this is just a beautiful warm all the time kind of scent. And it's so, so awesome. So since he says, lose yourself in sweet melon, visions of luscious pear leaf and water lily. And like I said, it's got, it's like that fresh, but it's more of like a perfumey fresh. And it reminds me exactly of that Nolly perfume from PacSun back in the day. Like it's just so incredible. I love this one. And it's very strong. I did warm it in the bathroom. It lasts a long time and it is pretty, it is pretty strong. The summer moonlight as well. So um, the next one that I have, I really liked last year in the spring and summer catalog. We had um, tangerine creamsicle and I didn't think I would like it, but when I warmed it, it was like the summer scent for me last year. And so when they decided to bring this out, I was a little intrigued. And um, I love it too. So this one is Clementine Cupcake. And I don't know if you can see the little cupcakes on it, the little orange slices. So cute. Um, this one says vanilla cupcake infused with sweet Clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. And it's exactly that. So this is considered a bakery scent. But you really do get that lemon sugar and the clementine in it. And it just like mingles and meshes like so well. So this one I'm actually going to warm next in the kitchen. And I'm so excited to do so to really let you guys know what, um, you know, how, if it's strong, if it's long lasting, um, things like that. So that was clementine cupcake. And then the next one we actually warmed um during our retreat this weekend this is pink rhubarb sugar hey friend um and this is exactly that um i'm not really sure you know some of these names are just like i'm not really sure what rhubarb is going to smell like but i think with some of the names since he's trying to create like a a vision like when you hear the name you're going to know exactly what it smells like um, if you like sugar, if you like pink haze, this is kind of a scent for you. Just straight up. It is so, it is very strong. It produces a strong scent throw. Um, it does last 
And since he says pink rhubarb sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar, um, it is considered a fruity category. Oh, it's just so, so good. So that rhubarb to me, it like produces like a more citrusy scent, but with the sugar and the vanilla in there, it's just incredible. So um, this is definitely one of the ones that I will be adding to my club when it comes. Um, so yeah, pink rhubarb and sugar. It is so yummy, so yummy. Um, the next one I am going to show you guys, um, since he says Neroli and orange zest beckon from a utopia of tropical white bloom. So this one is considered more floral. And so you can see right here, this is paradise petals. It's got all the foliage on it, all the, you know, the summer flowers and the, the leaves and stuff. So this one, when I smelt it, it automatically took me back, I think, to a hair salon when I got, um, when I used to start getting my hair done. And it is so lovely. Like, I, I'm not a real floral person, but this one is just like, it smells expensive, if, if that makes sense. It just smells like a beautiful, like luxury, high-end hair salon that has its own signature scent. It's definitely fresh, clean, floral. Um, it's just a gorgeous scent. You can get a little bit of perfume notes in it. So if you like really clean scents, really fresh scents, this one is for you. No sweetness or anything like that. Um, just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Yes, yes. And the last one, I decided to make it fun. Um, I am a apple scented lover. Um, I love Johnny Appleseed, which that is coming back. We also have it available in the brick in our Scentsy Club program. Um, so I was really excited about this scent. And this one is called Apple Teeny Splash. It is considered a fruity category. So you can see it's got that beautiful bright uh, lime green color, just like Cocoa Lime. And since he says green apple, nashi pear, stirred with a big splash of simple syrup. So this is more of your tart fruit as far as the green apple and the pear can compared to Johnny Appleseed. But you are getting that little splash of simple syrup, like gorgeous, like just gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good. So yeah, this one is definitely, I would say, a great like um, summer scent, uh, good kitchen scent. Um, it's very clean. Um, even a good bathroom scent. I mean, it's, it's pretty much all the ones that I've chosen are definitely ones to warm throughout the house. Like there's not one that's specific for any area. Um, and they're just all good. All the new 10 releases are so good. So the other 10 releases that I didn't mention to you guys are coconuts for coconuts. And that is a true coconut scent, like to a T true coconut scent. Um, since he says ocean breeze weaves along a coastline lush with wild coconut and tear flower. No, um, no tannin lotion scent, kind of like Havana Cabana where it's a little sweet. This is like a true blue coconut scent. Um, the next one is pineapple mango. It is considered a citrus category. Bright blend of sweet pineapple, juicy mango, softened by passion flower. And it does really have that citrusy um, scent to it. Uh, the pineapple is not too, too sweet. The mango really shines through in that one. So if you like mango. Um, Shoreline Drive, which is dewy greens and passion flower as sea mist guides the way. It is considered a fresh scent. And if you remember Sand Sweat last year, it kind of reminded me of that, except when I put them side by side, uh, Sand Sweat seemed a little bit more sweeter to me, where this one's more of like that blast of freshness. Um, I wouldn't say too aquatic, more like a sea breeze mist. Um, and then the last one is going to be, I know everyone's favorite, um, white, amber, and teak. 
So Alluring Amber Antique Flirt with Fresh Bergamot. This one I um, am going to go ahead and say this is going to be our next um, better version of sheer leather. So if you like sheer leather, um, this is going to be for you. It's even kind of the same wax color. It is a woodsy category and it is a absolute replica um, to me or dupe of the mahogany teak wood at the other um, the other fragrance company place so uh, if you like that if you like sheer leather that's definitely going to be for you I um, also am going to do another spoiler today um, and yeah I'm just so excited to show you this new catalog I am getting ready to mail out everything tomorrow and um, so I'm gonna get this in your hands let you guys see everything and then like I said before if there's anything that you've seen or you think you would like um, maybe you don't have the money for it anything like that there are plenty of ways to get this stuff for free or at a discount or um, anything like that and I'm here all the time to help you guys so yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So hope you have a wonderful day. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.